welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a blue green kind of look. As you guys can see from my eyes I have some blue in the outer corner, some lime green on the bottom lash line, and then like a very soft minty teal on the lid. So this is just a super simple look. It's a cut crease with a couple of eyeshadows and a nude lip to complement it and not take away from the eyes. It's super easy to follow so I hope you guys enjoy it. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you have not already and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss a upload from me. Um, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So now that I have my eyes primed, I'm going to be going in with a small little detail brush. Just going to take that shade and press it onto my crease. And I'm using a Morphe M514. Morphe brushes, personally, in my opinion, like, fray a lot. Um, like this brush, the hairs are kind of all over the place. I'm just going to be applying that shade into my crease. As far as any fallout that I have, that's exactly why I didn't want to go ahead and do my moisturizer because it's just going to stick more to the skin. I always tend to do my eyes first anyway. I'm just going to keep adding velocity onto my crease. kind of getting it as like intense as I want. Velocity does have some fallout as you guys can see, but that's fine. If you're doing your foundation first, um, I would definitely recommend putting some translucent powder. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some of Give Me Glow's Brazilian Bikini. Um, I'm pretty sure it's that shade since this palette, um, is customized by me. Some of the shades don't have the names written in the back, so I apologize, but I'm pretty sure it's that shade. I'm just going to be taking some of that and adding it a little bit higher up. Actually, I'm just going to be adding a teensy bit of Acid Berry, which is a lime green shade. to the mix I'm just gonna take some of my Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade Light Vanilla and I'm gonna be applying this on the back of my hand and I will be cutting my crease So once I have it uh, cut the way I want it, I'm just going to take that same Morphe brush and I'm going to go into the shade called Velocity and apply it onto my outer corner. Just bringing it kind of in 
onto my lid, as you guys can see, but just very lightly. And now I'm just going to clean out the fallout that I have underneath. And applying Emerald City with my finger. First, I, I wanted to apply it with this uh, brush that I have here. It just doesn't apply as opaque as I'd like it to be. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the Smashbox Primerizer and while that is sitting um, yeah we're just going to let that kind of set uh, I didn't even bring up my lip balm like I didn't bring a lot of stuff to for today alright so I'm going to go ahead and grab the ColourPop No Filter Foundation and I'm just gonna be applying some of this since this fits my face way more than the foundation I put on in my last video. So yeah, this is my go-to shade from ColourPop. It's in medium and I love it. I really need to take this shade when I go like makeup shopping because whatever looks like this will end up matching. I'm just going to be pouncing that onto my skin with my beauty blender. I really love this foundation. It has a really nice coverage. Um, I've found that ever since I was pregnant, I didn't really get a lot of breakouts. Not sure if I'm going to get them anytime soon. But yeah, when I was pregnant, I didn't really have a problem with breakouts. My skin was pretty clear, it was just very dry. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying this all over. Just going to be working that. Onto my skin. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and apply the Milani Conceal and Perfect wherever I like to highlight. It's underneath of my eyes. The light naturally hits my face. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, blend this out. A beauty blender is just way more faster than a brush, but throughout whenever I needed to buy a new beauty blender, I was just like, this is kind of ridiculous. I love beauty blenders, but there has to be something more affordable out there. I wasn't a really big fan of the Real Techniques sponge, but I decided to repurchase it and try it out again. I feel like I'm still not a big fan of it. The texture just reminds me of the old one that I had. Um, the first one that I ever bought, which was like 2015, when like they first released, was amazing. And then they decided to change up the texture. I don't know why, because that Real Techniques sponge was perfect the way it started. Um, so, now, you know, I really love the, like, the way that a beauty blender just applies my makeup. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation. Um using the Beauty Blake Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter setting powder. 
like it's a lot there's a lot that just like fell over me it's, it reminds me of baby formula um but i'm gonna go ahead and set underneath of my eyes That's where I tend to crease right away. And then I'm going to end up setting everywhere else with the same sponge. And I'm going to be grabbing. I thought I had a brush for translucent powder, but I guess I'll just get one of the ones that I had just washed um, and I'm just going to be grabbing some translucent powder on my brush to kind of go over everything and dust off the baking powder okay so next we're going to move on to bronzer and I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and I'm using this JH04 brush from Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe brushes. I like the angled brush, but I think it's just like a repackage of the ones that they originally sell. So if you're just interested in this brush alone, I think they sell it like by itself. Um, which she also has like a, which she also has like a whole face kit. And then she has like the whole master. I got, I got the master just because I wanted to try it out. But the brushes are really nice. I'm just not sure if they're worth like the $100 that they were. And then I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so next I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pool Party Blush Trio. And I'm going to grab this shade called Cash, which is this one right here this one in the center as you guys can see has like shimmer and then this one's a little bit more cool tone but i really love cash so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab that on like this uh brush that i have here and i like to add my blush more towards the back not so much on the apple almost like if it was bronzer but just like that i don't know i just feel like it lifts your face up a little bit more so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it on this side and then once I have my blush on I'm just gonna go ahead and use some setting spray and in case I don't have a little like fan I got this one off Amazon it's like a little fan and it just works perfectly to refresh your skin I'm in my mom's room and my mom's room is pretty cold so I'm not like super hot but usually her room is like pretty cold. My room on the other hand it's not as fresh all the time. So I've really been enjoying this iHeart Revolution Rose Gold Glow and I'm going to take this gold shade and apply that straight into my inner corner. It's just such a beautiful highlight. I love it and it's perfect for like getting right on the tip of the nose and then right on the bridge so I'm just going to be adding that acid berry shade onto the lower lash line okay so now that I've had that on my lower lash line I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lips really quickly for my lips I'm gonna be taking this shade called bear from LA girl this I love their lip liners they're really really good this is like a super new shade I'm 
actually going to be using this Tardis lip paint in OG. Just a little bit. I don't want a lot of the uh, paint all over. Just a little bit. So I'm not going to dip back into it. I'm just going to be using whatever is on the applicator. Alright guys, so now that I've added my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and just do my highlight. So again, I'm going to be grabbing the Rose Gold Glow and then grabbing this um, Morphe M501 and just grabbing some... adding that to my chin a little bit up here all right guys so that completes this makeup look i just did something like super blue i just wanted to try out my palette that i created like i said this is all like sugar pill if you guys want a more in-depth video on like all of my uh, single eyeshadow palettes i have them all kind of organized based on the inspiration that i want um like i said this one was mainly like a lot of lighter blues, baby blues kind of, like lighter greens, um, and then the blues. I do want to add like maybe a more lemony green and like a lemon shimmer, but um, yeah, so far I really just like the inspiration that I got from it, and that's how I created this look. Um, I know that this look wasn't like, I wasn't talking a lot, it's just a little bit harder for me to like concentrate because for majority of this video, um, when I finished this eye, my baby woke up and it took a while to get him back to sleep. Um, but it's just me getting used to it and again, I don't want to stop posting content. So I hope you guys still found it helpful and you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that if you guys enjoyed this video, that you guys give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss an upload from me. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.